Uh, let's talk about the dynamic current rate flow. Okay, so dynamic content means that we are going to show the, you know, uh, different content of the dynamic content as per the different, as per the, uh, some criteria defined here as per some rule defined over here um, to different, different subscribers. So whenever we log in to our Facebook page, right? So we are not like uh, seeing the same. I mean, if I log in, I will see different content. If you will log in, you will see different content, right? So it is the dynamic content, it is the dynamic pages. Similarly, if you want to show different, different content to different subscribers based on some criteria, let's say if um, uh, somebody's city is equals to, uh, or if you are choosing a location, and if somebody's city is Hyderabad or Delhi, right, we are going to show them the content uh, related to that particular city. And uh, let's say we want to uh, share the nearest uh, offices that we have, right? Uh, nearest um, stores that we have. Uh, if we're talking about a brand, uh, let's say Adidas, and based on their city, we want to show them that okay, these are the uh, nearest stores uh, nearby your location. Uh, then what we can do, we have to show different different content to different subscribers based on your city. So let me. So if you want to show different content, so first of all, we have to create different content blocks. So I'll go ahead and click on. So I'm going to create a few text content blocks that we are going to show them based on their city value. So the first content block would be let's say Hyderabad. Location. Uh, so what we are going to write um, below is a list of all the stores near by your location okay and we want to show them uh let's say in, in hyderabad we have a place called um let's say the Chibali. i'm not sure about this time. okay and let's say um Madhapur. So let's say if somebody's uh, location is Hyderabad, we want to show them these are the two different, you know, uh, places where uh, we have these stores available. Uh, let me see the changes and let me go five. We will create another text content block for another location. Uh, let's say Delhi. So let's say below is let me copy the text content. We will say, let's say in Delhi, we have a place called Karol Park and uh, say Chant Nature. Uh, let me save this. Delhi, 
location yeah okay similarly we can have multiple uh places right we can have you know different different locations and we can have different content blocks uh so now let me create the dynamic content block and what i'm saying is so uh, when you want to create a rule so the rule says that if the field value is equal to this then show this particular content block right otherwise show the another content block now the field could be present either in the list or the data extension so if we are choosing a field from a list then we can go ahead with the profile attributes and if we think that the value or the uh, the data that we have stored in a, a field that is a part of a data extension then we can go ahead with the data extension for now let's go ahead with the data extension um, we'll click on ok and here we need to choose one data extension where we have this location value stored so let's see So we are choosing this uh, data extension and we have this uh, um, field called city. So if I'll say, if it is equal to Delhi, then what should happen? Then I need to show one content. So I'll click on the select button and I'll select what the content block that I want to show. If this condition is satisfied. So let me go to this folder and I'll choose the folder. Uh, so I'll choose this content block, daily location block. Okay, I'll click on the select button now. So what is happening here that if uh, whenever we do the preview, we're using this particular data extension and the city value is equals to Delhi, then it will show this particular content to the, uh, the user. Now we'll create another rule that if location is equals to Hyderabad or the city is equals to Hyderabad, then what content that we want to show? So that is Hyderabad location block. So we'll go to the folder and we'll choose the content block. That is this one. Click on the select. Okay, and click on save. Now there could be a possibility that the city value like that we have uh, does not match it, does not match either of these values or it does not match either of these criteria. Uh, so let's say it could be a null or it could be you know any other city, let's say Nagpur or you know, any other city. Then in that case, what we can do, uh, it will either show the blank or if you don't want to show the blank then uh, we have to show the default content so we have to create the default content first of all so we will say that um, please provide your location uh, if you want to see uh, nearby stores okay, so that is something that we want to show if the city value is not available with us so we'll move on to our folder and here i'm going to create one more text block So let's go to content and go to this content block. And I'll say, uh, please share your location if you want to see nearby stores. You want to see at this. Going to see the address of nearby stores. Okay, now we'll save this and we'll save default location block. And we'll click on the save button. So now what we want to do is 
uh, we will go to that dynamic content block this one and we'll click on the browse button so here we do not have the criteria right? i mean if none of the criteria that we have created uh holds true then what will happen we are going to show this uh, default content that is this one I'm going to save this. So I'm going to say dynamic now. Demo. Okay, and I'm going to save this now. So how this content block is used. So let me go back and let me click on any of the email message. So this one. Uh, we'll talk about the different type of the email messages like template based, uh, HTML based and all. Uh, for now, let me show you how we can drag and drop the content block that we have created. So we have created all these content blocks so we can drag and drop here. Um, and we will go ahead with the preview and test to see. So now we are going to see that the what it looks like for different subscribers. Okay, we don't. Okay. So if the city is equals to Hyderabad, then it is going to show us this message. Uh, or this content block below the list of the stores and all. Um, if the city is equal to New Delhi, it means we have not defined the criteria for this. So it is going to show that uh, please share the location. And uh, if it is Pune, then also the same message. And in case the city value is blank, then also it is going to show us the message. Okay.